Hey everyone, I'm Andreas Mogensen, an astronaut with the European Space Agency on board the International Space Station. Today is actually my last day before uh, heading back to Earth. Uh, I've been here up, uh, up here for 10 days now on a relatively uh, short mission uh, to support the year-long mission of Scott and uh, Misha. Uh, I was hoping uh, that I would have time during my 10-day mission to launch two Danish-built CubeSats into orbit around the Earth. Uh, one of them is built by students at the University of Aalborg and the other by a Danish company called Gump Space. Uh, both are, are really, really interesting and I was hoping that uh, I'd have a chance to, to launch them into space. But unfortunately, there just wasn't enough time during uh, my 10-day mission. So they'll probably be launched about a month, month and a half from now by uh, some of the astronauts uh, on board the space station. But I wanted to give you a, a quick little tour and rundown of what's going to happen. So right now the uh, two CubeSats are on HTV, which is the Japanese unmanned cargo vehicle. You can see that right there behind me. It's uh, with the gold Mylar covering. Uh, it was launched up here uh, about a, well, middle of August, I think it arrived on board the space station. And we're in the process of unloading it right now. So that's where they uh, are in. Uh, they were launched from Japan. Uh, yeah, and arrived here uh, about a month ago. So. Uh, Let's, uh, let's head over there and have a look at HTV and, and see where the cube sets are. And then we'll dive into HTV. So we're now inside HTV. Nice and spacious right now, but somewhere amongst this cargo are the two Danish CubeSats just waiting to be unloaded. And once they're unloaded, they'll be taken to the Japanese Kibo laboratory. So let's head up and have a look at that. And that's right this way. So, once we've unloaded the CubeSats, we'll take them here to the Japanese laboratory, Kibo. Uh, they'll be on a NanoRax launcher, uh, which is a, a launching mechanism where we can, uh, I think it's six uh, CubeSats that can fit on there at one time. And it uses a uh, spring mechanism to uh, eject the CubeSats from the launcher. Um, and basically we take the uh, the CubeSat launcher, we open up the small equipment airlock that we have here. Uh, we can put them on the slide table. We close this side of the airlock, then we open the uh, outer side of the airlock. Uh, we use the robotic arm then to grab the launcher, uh, to move it into the correct position, uh, pointing in such a direction that uh, the CubeSats won't hit the ISS, and then uh, we can launch them. And as soon as uh, we hit the command, the uh, spring will push them out of the launcher and they'll be uh, ejected into orbit. And as I said, probably sometime mid-October uh, we should see these two Danish uh, satellites launched in this way from the airlock using the robotic arm. So I wish I could have done it, but uh, time just didn't allow for it, unfortunately. But anyway, that was a quick little tour of the, the CubeSats and, and and their journey to space uh, via the International Space Station.